This is an automatic wood sorter that takes any type of wood and automatically organizes it into storage containers for you, making all of your wood much easier to access and making your base look much cleaner. It has a glass front so you can see how much wood you have in each container, and it is specifically designed to be great for loading your truck up with desired wood so that you can take it wherever you need. Now, I've been working on this design for a while now, and I think I've come up with something that is going to be super helpful for you guys. This is by far the most requested video on my channel for years now, so without further ado, let's get straight into how you can build one of these for yourself. Okay, so to begin building, you're first gonna need to build a ramp of conveyors to get all of your wood up so that it can fall into the containers. Now, I don't know your setup, so I don't know how high up the conveyor that will be feeding into the machine is, but for the sake of explaining, I'm just going to assume that most people's conveyor that they want to feed into this auto sorter is coming straight out of a sawmill on their base. Every sawmill in the game's conveyor is exactly one stud above the ground, so in that case, you're going to want to place 20 tilted conveyors from the conveyor, and then a turn conveyor at the very end. Then make sure that you have three or more studs of space between the turn conveyor and the edge of your base. You can verify this by placing three tiny floor blueprints against the edge of your turn conveyor, and if you're able to place three or more of them without getting the you may only place structures on your land error, then you are good. And this is just to make sure that we'll have enough space for the wood detector and the signal sustains. Next, you want to make sure that your turn conveyor is exactly 21 studs above the ground. To verify this, you can place 5 floor blueprints and 1 tiny floor blueprint, and that should be exactly 21 studs. Now obviously this all depends on your situation and what you are trying to achieve with this. So maybe you don't need a turn conveyor right as the conveyors reach the top and you have enough space to build a few containers before your conveyor has to turn or maybe you will need to have it turn earlier to make it all fit. It all depends on your situation. But regardless of your situation, you do need either a turn conveyor at the end that is 21 studs above the ground or two straight conveyors at the end also being 21 studs above the ground. Okay, so finally, with all of that planning out of the way, we can finally start building the containers. So you want to start off by getting all of the falling materials on screen right now. Now, since I don't know how many woods you want to auto sort, I made this into a modular design, meaning that I'm going to show you how to build one container, and you can basically just repeat the same process for every storage container you want to build. So the materials on screen right now, by the way, are just to build one container. Now at the time of making this video, there is currently 17 different obtainable wood types. So if you want to sort every single wood in the game, then I did the calculations for how much you would need if you want to build 17 modules, and that will be up on screen right now. Which is what I have done right here. I have 16 piles of the required materials over here, and then one more over here and laid out nicely because this is the one I'm going to be showing you how to build. Now some common confusion with these materials is where to find the signal sustains. They can be found behind the signal delays right here in Lynx Logic. Now if you don't already know how to get to Lynx Logic, I have a video on it which I will link in the description down below. But anyways, another common confusion is with the smooth walls. Basically in Wood R Us, there are two different smooth wall blueprints with the exact same name. You just want to get the one that is thinner. Now my system is going to to come directly from my single unit cutter, which I have a video on in case you're interested, but yes, this auto sorter is compatible with all sizes of wood, including single unit pieces. Most auto sorters that I've seen can't even really sort small pieces, but this one can, though I would like to mention that longer pieces are more likely to get jammed on turns and switch conveyors, so this system works best with smaller pieces. 
I do have a video on an auto chopper that can cut wood into medium sized pieces which I'll link in the description or if you have the powers to build with ease you can do what I am doing and hook it up to a single unit cutter for really small pieces which work great in the auto sorter and you can just take out any of the pieces and immediately fill any blueprint which is really really nice. Now if you don't want to build any of those systems you can of course just chop up the pieces with an axe before you put them in the sorter. Order. or if you insist on being able to put longer pieces in the sorter there's a few adjustments you can do to optimize your system for that so the first thing is that I've built this little contraption which can turn the longer pieces so that they don't get stuck on the turns if you want to build this it's pretty simple and I don't think I'll have to instruct you on how to build it you can just put one of these at the end of any one of the turns that you built and another thing is that you may want to remove these little wedges from your system because if you have long pieces going through the system often, they may end up just doing more harm than good. Alrighty guys, so to begin building, you want to start off by taking your funnel conveyor and you want to place it against the conveyor that you previously built to be 21 studs above the ground. Now if you struggle to place it, a quick tip for placing conveyors is that if you turn the conveyor upside down by pressing T twice, most of the time you'll be able to get it just perfectly into place and then you can quickly turn it over again by pressing T twice without moving your cursor at all and then you can quickly press E to place it. I use this trick all the time when building conveyor systems, it really helps me so I hope that it'll help you too. But anyways, now you want to take your right switch conveyor, which actually could be a switch left conveyor in some cases. For most people, it's going to be a switch right conveyor. But you want to place it against your funnel conveyor like so. Make sure that when you stand on the conveyors, you don't get stuck right here. And that when you switch your conveyor, that it moves like this. If it doesn't, then you either have placed your switch conveyor wrong or depending on your situation, you might need a switch left conveyor if you want your containers to for example face the other way it all depends on what you're trying to do all right now you want to take one of your large floors and place it against the bottom of the switch conveyor making sure that when you place it you have one stud right here now if you struggle to do this you can actually place down a blueprint to help you you can place one right against this funnel conveyor like so and then you can place down another one like this and then you can place your large floor against it same thing happens it's just that if you do struggle to put this against it then you might need to use blueprint guides but anyways you can destroy the blueprint guides if you had to use them and now you want to take a smooth wall skinny smooth wall whatever you want to call it and place it against the large floor like so now you want to take another large floor and place it against the bottom of the other large floor like so and then basically just just do the exact same thing put your smooth wall against it and that is the back complete now you can place your walls down so take some large floors and place four of them on each side like so Then you can put your floor in, that's just going to be two large floors. Alright, next you want to take your final smooth wall and place it on the bottom of the container like so. Two studs in like so. It's not super important that you place this perfectly, this is just for when you back your truck into the storage container so that it will stop at a good place to make it easier to load your wood into your truck. Alright, next you want to take your 1 slash 4 wedges and place them flat on the floor of the container, making sure that the wedge angles in towards the inside of the container. Now take your glass doors and place them with the knobs closest to the center so you can open them like this. And then place your final glass door up top with the knob facing upwards. Alright, next you want to take your straight conveyor and you want to place it on the top of the glass doors like so, making sure that the walls of the conveyor are facing inwards like this. 
and also make sure that it is seamless and flush and that nothing is sticking out. If it's placed wrong at all, then wood might actually be able to get stuck right here on the glass door, so make sure that when you place it, that you place it correctly. And then you want to make sure that the straight conveyor is toggled downwards, this way wood that is coming in will be directed downwards instead of getting stuck. Alrighty, next up, I do want to mention that you need a small piece of wood that is the same color as your small tile so that you can put it into the wood detector. That's how wood detectors work, is you put a little piece of wood and then it will search for that type of wood. Now, if you don't know how to get a small piece of wood, all you want to do is go to your sawmill, put it down at the smallest setting it can go, and then you want to put your wood inside of your sawmill and then wait for it to come out and usually it'll make a really long stick you just need a little tiny bit so you just take a little piece of it and then that is your little piece so anyways you want to take your small tile and place it on the center of the straight conveyor like so and then you want to take your 1 slash 4 by 1 wedge and you want to put it on the side of the funnel conveyor so just place it like this right here and that should be correct and this will just prevent things from getting stuck right here. Now finally all that's left to do is the logic and I know that a lot of people get a little bit scared about logic but trust me it is very very simple. Um, first of all you're going to want to take your wood detector move it over here. I'm just going to move all of these over here so that I can work a little bit easier. Alright now you want to take a blueprint. It doesn't really matter which blueprint. I'm just going to take a small floor blueprint and place it right here on the top of the container like this on the corner and then I'm going to take two small tiles and place them on top of it like so and now you can place your wood detector right here and you want to make sure that the laser thing is just about in between where the funnel conveyor ends and where the switch conveyor starts. Now you can destroy the blueprints, you don't need them anymore. And now you just want to take your signal sustains and flip them like so, and then place them against the bottom of the wood detector like this, making sure that the inputs roughly touch, it doesn't have to be exact. This will still transfer the signal, but anyways you want to take another one and place it against the bottom of the other one and then you want to make sure that the arrows are both pointing down and now all that's left to do is to take a wire hold on let me get back up you want to take a wire and place it from the output of this to the input of the switch conveyor and now you want to adjust the duration make sure that both of them are on the maximum duration you can adjust it to your liking but I find that the maximum max duration is just best and now all that is left to do is to put the tiny piece of wood into the wood detector and if you did it right you should see a very faint laser coming out of the wood detector now you are completely done building though real quick before you move on I would recommend that you do a test run so put a piece of wood that matches the wood detector onto your conveyor and make sure that it makes it up fine and that you have switched all of the conveyors in the right direction so that it makes it up now if it doesn't work flawlessly and you can't figure out why since I can't really edit in fixes for things after the video is already uploaded and I have no way of predicting what potential issues could come up from the game being updated or whatever it may be first of all go to the description of this video and see if I've posted a fix for it down there and if you can't find anything there write a comment down below this video and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can with a potential solution. If you want a bit of a faster response, you can also go to my Discord server link down below where I am much more likely to be active. But since this is a very simple design, I'm just going to assume that most of you are probably not going to have any issues. So if you did it and it works perfectly, then you are free to move on and start building your next container the exact same way that you did for the first one. Place a funnel conveyor against the switch conveyor like this, and that's your start for the next container. You pretty much just repeat the exact same steps, except there's one thing that I do want to mention. 
Since you already have a container right next to the one that you're building, you can actually just place a skinny smooth wall blueprint like this and then place your large floor against it and that just saves you the frustration of trying to place a large floor against a conveyor. Anyways, yeah, you are now free to start building out however many containers you want. You could just use the one aside it for a reference, but you probably don't want to accidentally forget something that might break your system. So I just recommend re-watching the section of the video that I show you how to build the container again and again for however many containers you want to build. And then the rest of this video is just going to show you how to make a turn in the conveyor system in case you want the container system to turn, and a couple other things things for once you finish building the entire system. So yeah, just go back and watch how to build the container again and repeat the steps for all of the containers you want to build. Alrighty guys, so if you've made it this far in the video, then I'm going to assume that you have already built out all of your containers up to a certain point. Maybe you need your sorting system to turn before you hit the edge of your base or a wall or something like that. For me, I need to turn it because I have a little logic storage thing in the way. So for this, you're going to need at least 19 units of space between the edge of your container and whatever it is that's blocking you which is the equivalent to two large floors and three tiny floor blueprints stacked right next to each other. Now for me, I can unfortunately only fit two large floors and two tiny floors, which means that I'm one stud short. So in this case, I would have to rip apart the last container and make it turn earlier. But I'm actually just going to merge the back of the container with the back of my logic storage right here. I'm gonna have to do something custom for that, but I'm just gonna assume that you do have enough space or in the case that you don't have enough space that you'll rip up the last container that you built so that you will have enough space. So anyways, to make it turn, you need five straight conveyors and one turn conveyor. Start off by running three straight conveyors from the switch conveyor of the last container. Then place your turn conveyor on that. and then place the remaining conveyors against the turn conveyor. And then onto that, you can actually place the funnel conveyor for your next container. And basically you just build your container the way you normally would. Oh yeah, and real quick, you are going to wanna make sure that all of the conveyors are switched in the right direction. And this should actually give you a perfect corner between the containers. Now real quick before I go, I do want to mention that wood trailing closely behind other wood types can actually end up going in the wrong container because the switch conveyor can be switched for too long. And there's a couple ways to counteract this which I want to show you. Firstly, I did tell you to make your signal sustains the maximum duration, but that's actually a little more than the wood needs. Now the speed at which wood moves on a conveyor is largely inconsistent and depends a lot on if you're in a smooth or a laggy server. Having them on max duration is the best for people that are in laggy servers a lot, but if you play in smooth servers a lot, you may want to just reduce the duration a little bit for all of your signal sustains. Now that takes a lot of effort and I personally just prefer to do the other option which is just that when you're loading wood into the sorter, try to leave a lot of space between the woods that are different types. But at the end of the day, it's not very common and also not the end of the world if one piece of wood ends up in the wrong bin occasionally. Anyways, that is pretty much it for this video. Hopefully it has helped you out a lot and if it has, then maybe consider subscribing or liking the video, whatever you want to do. And I'll see you in the next video once it's out. See ya!